Alright, welcome to Brad and Matt's Ultimate Feed the Beast Guide. We have just spawned into our new world. And it is time to take you through step by step on how we're going to try and survive. Hello, Brad. Hello, Matt. All right. I guess while we talk, we should be cutting down trees. We should be cutting wood. So I'm going to bang away in a tree. Get a piece I of love wood. With no, uh, with no tools. Banging away at a tree with a block of wood. Some people actually say that hitting it with another piece of wood is faster than doing it with your hands. That's what I normally do. I don't know if that's true or not. I haven't sat with the stopwatch. <laughs> me neither. But my hands thank me for it because they get kind of bloody at the end. <laughs> so, I guess we should explain what we're going to be doing here. Well, we have uh, come across that there are many guides out there that show you bits and pieces of uh, the parts of the game, especially Feed the Beast Ultimate, where even the wiki does not have a lot of information for us. So we thought we'd go step by step and try to create everything in the game at certain points. So we're not going to skip ahead, or try not to skip ahead too far from going from like a coal furnace into like a nuclear reactor. <laughs> <laughs> I've seen that happen way too often. So this is the latest version as of, I believe it was the beginning of April. So, beginning of April 2013. So have you built a crafting table yet to get any kind of tools? No. Or are you just beating away on the trees? Beating away on the trees. Oh, I'm going to build a crafting table and get a axe. I find that if you make a wood axe, though, it only lasts like 10 blocks and then you have to make another. Well, I'm going to make a few then. So, Brad and I will be doing this. Uh, couple hours during the week and we'll put up multiple videos and this is just spawning into the world it's a brand new world if we saw trees we cut them down we got to get our resources I'm a little slow at building tables and stuff so Bear with me. Wow, these are big trees, though. Yeah, this was a good place to find. Yeah, we haven't wasted any time trying to look around and see where we are. <laughs> it's just grab resources. Come nighttime, we see where we are. You know what would be nice, though, is somehow in the game to see the time of the world. That would be nice. Rather than just having to see where the sun is. So this is, we are using, really we're using no additional mods other than what we have with Feed the Beast Ultimate. So we're kind On of doing main. an almost yeah. generic... Yeah, is it getting dark out, or is it just the leaves I'm in? Yeah, I think it's getting dark out. On our home server, we are using, like, permission bucket and grief, anti-griefing mods, but for us to do the tutorial, we got rid of all that, and we just did a random seed. If you would like to know what seed we are using, we can put we can put it in the comments, just let us know.
and I'm being silly here trying to build stuff people watching me will think yeah you are silly um can you see the sun where you are it's still somewhat daylight okay but I am under trees too but it is bright here So over the first couple of days of, obviously with every new beginning guide, we need to get our resources, we need to fight ourselves through the first couple nights before we get into any sort of technology. And as people could see if they're watching me, I'm a noob because I'm just struggling to build a sword and an axe. But I do have them built now, and I shall carry forth and collect resources. Actually, Brad, I'm getting a lot of wood here because I'm still going up this tree. Do you want to make our first night home and see if there's any coal around us? Are you far away from me, or are you close to me? I'm at the spawn area. Like, I'm just in the first tree I found. All right, well, I'm going to dig a hole then with my wooden tools. Would you prefer that we go into a mountain or underground? Um, if there's, I see cobblestone on my mini-map here, so maybe build into there so at least at night we can start building into the cobblestone and get some resources. i got to build a pickaxe then. Because my hands can't take beating on a cobblestone. So, we hope that with this, going through each and every step, you will we'll see the natural, natural progression. Some of it, yes, you may never use because you can jump back and forth, but we're going to see if there are any benefits with doing the natural progression instead of just jumping completely forward. I would like to see that because so many of the other videos I've seen has been a lot of that. You'll, you'll see them starting from the beginning. And then once in a while, they'll just jump ahead, and you don't know what they've built. You see new machines. You don't know what they're made for. Better get some coal here so we can have some torches when we're in the dark. And the nice thing about grabbing wood at the beginning as well, if, even if you don't find coal, then we have uh, charcoal that we can make by just putting in wood as a fuel. So I truly believe that there is no sense in running off and finding coal right away. You might as well get gather trees so you have some building materials, you can build torches, and as well if you want to burn it and make charcoal for your fuel, you can do that as well. That's right. Charcoal is an underutilized piece of resource. A lot of people just go straight to coal. I find that too in the videos, but hey, if you don't have coal around you or you don't have time to find it, then yeah, use charcoal. Alright, it is becoming nighttime. So I do have a bit of a hole built here. All right, did you put a door on it or Nope, it is wide open right now. And I just ran out of my pickaxe. A door is six planks in the shape of a door, three up to a crust. All right, I have a door built. 
Now, what we are going to find is going to be different, Brad, is on our main server, we do have the grief prevention, which stops the angered zombies from breaking down doors. So without that now, the angry zombies, the ones with the red eyes, can pound on the doors and break them. Oh. Okay. Player be warned. So, we have gone through our first day in Minecraft time, and so far all I have done has been chopping down one tree. And I ran out of my pickaxe. Well, I have a ton of wood. I'm, by the end of this, I should almost have three full stacks of logs. That'll be nice. As long as I don't die. Find your way back to the flame. Pardon? Can you find your way back to the flame that I've set? Uh, don't you see me? I'm like two feet away from you. No, I don't even see you. Oh, there you are. <laughs> this, this is a tree I've been knocking down. Now the nice thing that I do find about Feed the Beast is it has a lot of stuff and we have left that Greg Tech mod is enabled so all of our... Uh oh crap. <laughs> you better get back in here. Where are you? Where's the Where'd door? Where's that oh. torch? Yeah. Alright, door's going up. I didn't even hear him. <laughs> All right. So since we are in here, let's. Do you have a crafting table? I can build one. I left it outside. Uh, we'll build one. Don't bother going out there. Beautiful, a torch. So we should be pretty safe in here for the time being. Now, what's the first thing that you want to build? All right, so do you have cobblestone? Because we should build a furnace so that we can start Okay. making some charcoal or building some stuff. So if we find some iron in here during the night. But we do need charcoal for torches. How many torches do you have? I have five left. Yeah, so we're going to need a ton more for starting to mine. And I now have a furnace. Which I built with doing the five cobblestones or the cobblestone around the outside. All right, so I'll put half a stack of wood in there. And half a stack in there, so all right. We will have some. I am going to grab some cobblestone so I can start making pickaxes. Oh, you need, uh, let's make a chest. I'll make a chest quick. All right. I was going to build some pickaxes too. Entry axes. All right, I am going to put a bunch of wood a whole stack of wood so that you can get some planks as well and I'll even put a whole thing of planks and there's some sticks oh, I just did a bad move what did you do? I made uh, 59 buttons by mistake <laughs> nice. 
I don't know how to recycle those, but we'll get to that later. <laughs> the unenchanting. <laughs> you never know when we're going to need that many buttons. All right, I'm just going to gather some cobblestone so that we can make some of the higher end pickaxes so that we can at least get iron because I don't believe we can mine iron with a wooden pickaxe. You are correct. I'm just converting all of my wood tools that I had to cobblestone tools, such as the axe, the pickaxe, and a sword. So, in the morning, we are going to need some resources. So, I'm thinking it's easy for us to mine in, at night. So, I'm thinking in the morning, what we're going to want to do is maybe grab some food. Food would be a good thing. I threw some cobblestone in the chest for you. Okay, thanks. I didn't recall seeing any food sources around here. Now we're going to have to go on a little bit of a hike. I hope we find cows. I love steak. Because sometimes pork just doesn't fill the belly. I'm just making my tools here. And do I need an axe? I'll just make one. Don't forget to make a sword. Made a sword, pickaxe, shovel, and an axe. Shovel? Oh, that's a good idea. You always need a shovel. I always forget about that. Okay, look at that, 16 charcoal. Well done. Now this is just kind of our temporary home for the time being, until we gather more resources, when we can carry on. All right, Brad, here you go. Maybe half my stack of torches. I always need those. Thank you. I wonder what time it's... We have to keep watching. Oh, sun is coming out. Oh, you are a rebel. You're going out at dawn. Oh, Mr. Skelton's coming at us. Wow, it didn't take 500 hits. Ah, not with a tool. Alright, where is the sun? I do, it does seem lighter. Wow. Has it we been out for a bit, or is it just the wood. forest that makes it I, look darker? I think the sun is just rising. Alright, let's go find some food. Alright, let me follow you. I'm thinking... Where do we run? Actually, it looks really bright over here, so let's get out of the trees. Cactus we can use later. Yes, cacti. Grab some cacti. Here, cowie, cowie, cowies. Wow. This is a meat-free zone. Yeah. Do we have a command like slash time? No, that's a set time, but we don't have that. It's. I just wanted to know what time it was. If it was noon, 8 a.m. <laughs> I guess we'll have to build a watch. Oh, yes. A nice clock. In-game clock. Alright, so I'm going to head probably... The other way that we came from, in search of meat. Okay, so you're going to head... I'm heading about northeast. Okay. 
I'll try to head west then, I guess. It'll be kind of boring for some people to watch because we got to do the basics just to get ourselves built up so we can do better things. And I did find one piece of pork. Oh, piggy. Piggy, piggy. Yeah, poor guy. And ah, it some... looks like I'm kind of in a jungle biome or on the outskirts of one. Oh, and I see a chicken in a tree. I see a sheep. But and yes, and... we could make beds and skip night, but you know what? We need to mine some, and that's a great time to start mining at the beginning is at night. <laughs> Oh, found a skeleton, too. Oh, I found a lot of piggies. Oh, good. I found a sheep. A white sheep. I feel bad doing this kind of stuff. Just hunting down animals and slaughtering them. But I know it's part of the game. You gotta do it. You gotta live. You don't eat. You don't play. <laughs> In our cases, if you don't drink, you don't play. <laughs> yeah, I killed that pig. He didn't give me any pork chop. Cheap bastard. Wow, there's a ton of pigs here. Well, I guess you found a good beat factory there. I've just been coming on them randomly. But yeah, but yeah, there's a lot of trees in this area. We should not be sup or depleted of wood ever. Nice. It's almost like there's a farm here somewhere. Well, you might find a village. I hear chickens, but I can't see them. Oh, there's one. Boy, it's hard to jump up through these leaves. Just use your jetpack. <laughs> yeah, that might be in episode 27 or episode 30. Oh, wow, episode 30? <laughs> really? I found a jungle cat. Yeah, keep them. They keep the uh, bodies the, away. The bad guys. Bring them home as a pet. Is there any kind of food you could use to lure them back? I believe there is. Oh, you know what? Oh, probably fish. I also did not set a waypoint at my home. <laughs> Either did I. That's what I was just thinking. <laughs> Crap. How do I get back home? And I don't want to eat any of this food until I cook it, because that's just a waste. It is, yep. Alright, and take it one, one chicken out, and then I'm going to try and find my way back home. <laughs> Rookie oh. mistake number one. Yes. Oh crap. This sucks. Well, I remember I was going northeast, so I'm trying to go southwestish. Oh, I think it might be this way. Helps if I look at the mini map. Yes, that's what I've been using too. Oh, found some coal.
And I found some beehives. Yeah, we're going to have to, well, I guess we're going to have to make a shear so that we can make a scoop as well, eventually. So that we can shear the sheep. And making beds probably isn't a bad thing. <laughs> I don't know what I just chopped down there. Some kind of fruit or something off of a tree, but I'll find out later. Go in my inventory. Oh, cocoa beans. Oh, yeah. I'm a little more concerned about trying to get back home now. Yeah, I think I see it on the mini map, but it's just getting there because I think I'm way too far down. Oh, you know what? I found a death point that I had last time. I'm going to head for there. Oh, yeah, because when you spawned into the world... Yes, I died you, right away. You fell through the world. So I'm going to head for that. That should be a good place to start. And I am found you. Oh, and here's oh, some lava. So we have a cave. Okay. Ah, there you are. Yeah, I'm gonna have to eat soon too. Man, yeah. I don't wanna I don't wanna use that raw meat though. I know, neither do I. I have one and a half. Ugh, dead end. Never a dead end in <laughs> Minecraft. Ooh, there's a big cave too. Yeah, so from our position, you should head due east if possible. That's where my death point was. I think it's over there, but... I don't remember coming down this far. Oh yeah, my hunger's starting to hit me now. I have to eat a piece of raw. Alright, I found the place. I'm jumping up and down, if you can oh. see me. Yay! Oh, way over there. Okay, I'll grab, uh, while I'm up here, I'll grab this coal. And I'm gonna cook some food. Because I am getting hungry. You are getting hungry. I take the charcoal out first. Actually, this wasn't too bad, Brad. I found all the kinds of coal here. Well, that's why I kind of chose the place to hide into. There was some coal there. All right, time to eat some pork. Did you find an apple on your route? No, I did not. So we are heading into night number two. Night number two was basically trying to find some food so we can sustain ourselves through other nights coming up. Yeah, and tonight we should go mining. There's food in there for you. In the, the furnace. Oh, sweet. How'd you get 63 pork? Oh my goodness. I told you, I came across like a... A ton of pigs. You slaughtered a lot of pigs. Yes, well, I'm, I'm glad you brought them back home. In there, we'll use some coal. I've got some chicken, and I'll throw them in the box here. Alright, for mining, we are going to need a bunch of torches. 
thrown eggs in too. If people don't know, you can throw eggs and possibly get a chicken out of it. Or you can use them to make a cake. <laughs> yeah. Again, that's another episode. That's later next month when it's our birthday. We'll make each other a birthday cake. Mm. God, good um, thing we have 59 buttons sitting there. <laughs> How do we reverse engineer those? Can we? Um, that was just a waste of wood. <laughs> that's way later. Okay. That was my bad. All right, we might as well build ourselves another stone pickaxe. Make sure that we have a couple. Yes, because we're going to go through a couple, at least. There's some more torches. Oh, I'm full. <laughs> Your inventory's full? No, I got 64. Oh, yeah, but... Yeah, remember, it's we go through a lot, especially when you're going into a cavern. All right, so I'm gonna build another stone pickaxe. If I had cobblestone in my inventory, but I don't. And what will we come across? Oh, you're going down that way? Yeah. So you're heading west. I'm going to go south. Be nice if we came to a cavern right away. Oh, with some good stuff? That would be nice. Like emeralds, rubies, <laughs> any of those for decent tools. And diamonds right away. How about that? It is a nice wish, though. And we could find them if we come across um, some chests. Oh, yeah, that might have them in them already. Sounds of zombies already. Oh, do ya? Are you afraid? Oh, I found a chasm or some sort of area here. Oh, I found something that's taken me a long time to beat through. What the heck was that? I didn't even pick it up. <sighs> uh -huh, yeah, because we don't have the proper tools. Yeah. Note to self, just let it be. So really what we're looking for is iron. Or better yet, yeah, gem gem tools. Alright. Scary moment. I saw a creeper somewhere. Oh, boom. Yeah, me no go boom yet. Light torches everywhere. More coal. Alright. I'm digging down, laying torches. I think I might have found some iron here. I'm gonna light up the way first so that maybe I don't get it. As many spawning. And now I can worry about 
getting the materials. Yes, I did get some iron ore. Nice. Now, from the beginning, it would be nice to have a macerator so that we are able to get two dust, but from the beginning, there is no way. <laughs> exactly. And macerators, I believe now with Greg Tech in this, take a diamond. Ouch. Yeah, it's not like before, where it was so easy to make a macerator. Now it costs you a lot of resources. I really have to turn on my radar, because I don't know if anything is close to me. Do you show the zombies and creepers and that on your mini-map, Brad? Um, I haven't changed any settings on it, but right now my mini-map, I don't see anything. I just see my last death point. And I still haven't set my home. Oh yeah, either did I. <laughs> my god, we are stupid. At least you have your original death point. That's right, I don't want to delete it. So finding more iron and the purple lady stuff. That's my description of it. I don't know if it's useful or not. I'd really only grab what we're going to use because a lot of this stuff, like even down here, you're only going to use it with uh, Thomcraft and Mistcraft, but we're not even close to getting into that. Yeah, so just stay with the ore. Yeah, I would think so from the beginning. Getting tin now. Now later we are going to need a ton of copper, yes. but we don't use it hardly at all at the beginning. Oh, I think I found iron. Nice. Make sure I throw up enough torches. There's more tin over here. Oh. Push him into lava. Haha, <laughs> sucker. Oh, you found lava already? Yeah. Finding a big vein of coal. Oh, it looks like it's daytime up there, but since we're mining, we need to mine to get the next level of tools to actually do anything proper. Yeah, and until my pickaxe runs out, I'm going to keep mining. And then we have to start to find a home base, a spot we want to build and live for a long period of time. Yeah. Now, in our discussions, we have come to the conclusion, I believe, that we are not going to do the typical stone house or building. Exactly. We're going to do something a little different. Make a brothel? Mm, not this time. Uh. Alright, my last pickaxe just gave out. I'm coming up for air. Oh, 
I hate leaving caves without exploring the whole thing, but... Oh, I should set a waypoint right down here. That's what I should do as well. I will call it mine. And then I have to remember to set home. Oh, there was a slime. Now to set waypoints, it is already in Feed the Beast. You normally would hit M, but M does interfere with other stuff. So mine I've just changed to a different key binding. But if you have the rights, you can teleport to any one of these. We're not going to use them extensively, but occasionally we are going to use them. So and we don't. So we don't have the um, the home plugin. No, that was part of multi home, okay. so we no longer have that. That's why we have our waypoints now. All right. I'm taking out all of that cooked meat out of the furnace. That should give you some good XP. Did throwing in my iron. There is a lot of pork for people to eat. That is good stuff. Yes. Alright, so these videos we are going to try to put out a couple a week. And we are going to try to make it so that everything we build will be on video. We don't want to just all of a sudden have half of our house with everything in it built. But we are going to have some points where you don't want to watch us mining like we are today for hours. So Right, exactly. Sometimes when we come back we will have more resources, but that will be from us mining. And drinking. Lots. Ah, yes. I do find, though, that I can drink more in other games. Minecraft does not lend itself nicely to drinking. And that is a good thing sometimes. Well, our group name is Alcoholics Unanimous, so it's not good for our group. <laughs> good for our day jobs. Good for the day jobs, exactly. But really, who needs those when we have Minecraft? Well, I guess for internet. <laughs> ah, for server. Are you still downstairs mining? I am. I might die here, but I'm going to try to run and jump. I made it. I just see a big pool of lava down where you were mining. Yes. And I like lava. You do like swimming in lava. I love to use it for energy. I'm gonna hop back up. Alright, so for our home we are going to need a ton of wood as well. Yep, that will have, will have to be another dedicated day, I think. So how much iron ore did you grab, Brad, when you were out? Uh, I think I had about 19. Right now I've got... I'm going to have 19 ingots. Alright, and I have 36, so that should mm. suffice for some tools. Oh. I think so. And getting our first iron chest, because we don't want to stick with those normal chests too long, because they just don't have enough room. 
And that, I believe, would be the natural progression from the single wooden chest to the double wooden chest, then to the iron, iron chest. chest. Yes, it's amazing how fast you can fill up a chest. Especially now we're picking up a bunch of crap. Yeah, every little thing that's different is going to take up a new slot. Alright, so where... I know I came down somewhere. Oh, probably here? Do I need to come get you? Are you lost? <laughs> I may be lost. I'm just trying to find the opening that I fell down, or jumped down. See, if you had set your home as a waypoint... But underground, I still lose it. I did but I do recall seeing this lava as I was coming down, so... Okay. Oh, well, I can see you. You're getting close. I saw your name in the distance. You don't leave much headroom for yourself when you're going down these mines. There you yeah. are. Oh, there we go. Yeah, you're right here. I see ya. Beautiful. Oh, my macro still works too on my G on my keyboard. Yes. And uh Brad will put that in a comment too if you have a Logitech or a macro and keyboard. Yes. Yeah, some of the nice stuff. The auto walk. It's handy when you're trying to just go down or up a long span of cobblestone or land. Oh, look at all that stuff you threw in there. Did you find any copper on your way down there? Yeah, we have 14 copper in there. Oh, you made it better than I did. Whoops. Uh oh. I know what whoops means. I throw more coal in the furnace. Or should I throw charcoal in the furnace? Um, if you hover over it, what does charcoal have? Does charcoal have the 4K EU? It has. Yep. So yeah, you might as well throw the charcoal in. We'll use that up first. Alright, I'm going to take the coal out. Charcoal. Because I do go through a bunch of torches, too. Wow. Now I kind of... I'm skimpy on my torches. Oh, I put them up like it's life or death. Oh, I put them up like it's just to see. I haven't been attacked yet. Really? I fought off, like, the Ender Dragon, I think, down there. The Ender Dragon. I don't think you met up with him down there. So what do we have here? We have seven, we need more. Alright, Brad, I am going to make our iron chest. Alright. You gonna make it here? I guess you are. This is our home. So our iron chest, all you do is you have a single wooden chest and then surround that wooden chest with iron. And it just does a natural progression of from iron, I believe it goes to gold. And from gold it is going to go up to diamond. I believe it goes in that pattern. Alright, and oh crap, it is night time. <laughs> Yeah. Oh crap is well put. Now, did you make uh, any iron pickaxes or anything? No, not yet. I haven't made any iron tools. Alright, I made two of those, so you might as well grab one. Thank you. Is there anything I can do with my st 
dome stuff? Like, what? No. no? Okay. It doesn't even have a yeah an EU value to burn. Yeah. It's just disposable stuff, I guess. Yeah, and uh, I know a nice spot for it. It's yeah, down there, there in the lava. There's some lava. You know, I'm gonna I'm gonna hang on to my shovel. I'm gonna throw some bones, cause I don't want bones right now. Bones can be used later. I hate picking up rotten flesh and zombie brain crap. So here I am throwing bones into the lava. Stone axe I'm gonna hold on to. Alright. That's it for my disposal. I like keeping an extra of everything. Just in case. Oh, you did get a piece of wool. Yeah, I took out a sheep. It was a rough battle. <laughs> Alright, how far off until daytime here? Can we see the moon? Of course not, we're in freaking jungle. Alright, so... What we are going to need is, well, we are doing quite well on iron. I am surprised. And coal. You're welcome. And what else do we have? So we're going to have enough iron ingots. Well, we are going to take all our wood. So I believe we have set a waypoint to this mining spot. Because there was a nice one down there, and I still had a lot more to explore, so I would like to come back here. Mm -hmm. But I believe that we should just grab some of this, and in the next episode, we will probably go out and explore and find a good place for our home.